Hey guys, Duke of Jamming here, and so today I'm going to be showing you, because this was a requested video, especially since I've got Fiber Optic, how to port forward the TalkTalk Talk Super Router. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to your router's default gateway for your TalkTalk Talk Router. It should be 192.168.1.1, and that will be the default gateway, and that is what it normally is, unless you've fiddled with that which case chances are you're probably not going to be watching this video and so basically what you're going to want to do is when you go to that address it's going to bring you to here which is your login page so you're going to want to type in the default username and password which is normally admin and admin and I've just got remember me ticked so then I can log in so now this is where people may start to get a bit confused because it's a little bit weird the interface here so you're going to want to go to the internet tab port forwarding and so that is how you find it so as you can see I've got wake on LAN and FTP server and Minecraft mapped and you can have port triggers port mapping so I've had to predefine these myself so the way you're going to want to do this is you're going to you're going to want to click new mapping oh, no, I'll just I'm going to just quickly delete that. Okay, so you're going to want to click New Port Mapping. You're going to want to call it whatever you're going to call. So I'm going to just call it, for example, Minecraft 1, but yours could be called whatever you want. Then Application. So as you can see here, I did Wall Wake on LAN. I've set up my FTP server and I have also set up my Minecraft. So I'll show you how to do that. So you're going to want to click Add Port Mapping Application. Then you're going to be confronted with this. Then if you scroll down to the very bottom, Add Port, Add Port Mapping. And so then here, you're going to want to name it. And what you can do is, you, so I'm going to call this Minecraft External Port 25565, Internal Port 25565. And then you want to set it to TCP slash UDP. And then here you're going to want to set it to 25565, assuming that's what you're running Minecraft on. And then if there's a group of port forwardings that is required for it, so say for Team Fortress 2, you need ports 27006 and 27015 forwarded as well. So then within this port forwarding, port mapping you can then set another range of ports that you need to be forwarded as well and so I'm going to delete that and I'm going to just use this new Minecraft one I've made so I'll save that and I'll get rid of the old Minecraft one I had okay All right so as you can see here at the, down at the bottom where I've added my custom ones I've got Benjamin's FTP server wake on LAN Benjamin and Minecraft my port mapping that I made so as I said, the default for Minecraft is the default for Minecraft is two five five six five the port, and so that's what I've done. So now, when you go here uh, to adding a port mapping, because you've added the application, you can now literally just click here, click Minecraft, and so rather than having to every time you want to put a port mapping in, having to type in that two five five six five or whatever you have to do, and then also the good thing about this TalkTalk Talk Super Router over the HG533 which is the one I had previously and you can look at my other guide is you had to always put in your internal IP address whereas on here you can just select it from a list of them as you can see and mine's quite obviously Benjamin PC Ethernet it's quite logically named you know and because you've got my name my computer and Ethernet after it and you can always add a custom device if need be but normally you don't need to do that and so now when we save that there we go so now I now have a port mapping there don't need that one okay yeah <laughs> there we go <laughs> okay right oh dear have I broken this okay I've broken it okay there we go that's all fixed now and so yeah so I've got my minecraft mapping name application which I custom made and I've selected the host 
and so that is how you go about um that is how you go about port forwarding minecraft and other applications and then if you need to find your external ip address all you have to simply go to is what's my ip dot org and then once you're there you can put in yeah, if you put that into your browser it will show you your external ip address at the top and that is what you give your friends and so then all they have to type into their minecraft or wherever they're connecting from is your your ip here and then for colon 25565 as an example for minecraft and so that is what they would do to connect then to your server when it is running and so okay guys so that's it for today bye